Molly works at a veterinary hospital in a safari park. First thing in the morning, she feeds this animal. Can you guess its name? That's right, it's a panda. After that, she brings food to this animal. Can you guess its name? It's a bear. Great job! Then Molly feeds this guy. Can you crack this rebus? It's a tiger. After feeding the tiger, Molly says hi to this animal. Have you guessed its name? Right, it's a monkey! After lunch, Molly takes care of these creatures. Any ideas who they could be? Butterflies! Great job! One day after breakfast, Molly checked money donations for the animals. A crow got $7, a ladybug received $21, and a spider got $28. Based on this information, how much money will the tiger get? The tiger will get $14 because it has four legs. Each animal received $3.50 per leg. Molly went to the kitchen to have lunch. Usually, she prepares her food at home and brings it to work in a lunchbox. But this time, she saw that someone had oh, no. stolen her lasagna from the fridge. Molly got very upset and questioned her colleagues. Mike said, I haven't been to the kitchen today. I was too busy bathing our hippo. Melissa said, I spent this morning cleaning the pool. I didn't touch your food. And Alina said, I had business lunch with investors downtown. I've just arrived. Who is lying? Melissa. Look, the pool is still dirty. Mike offered Molly a deal. I'm going to give you my lunch if you crack this riddle. I'm an odd number. Take away one letter and I'll become even. What number am I? Can you help Molly? The correct answer is 7. Molly received an emergency call from one of the guards. Someone had released all their parrots. Molly interrogated three people who were standing nearby. Jack said, mm, I didn't see anything, lady. I went blind 10 years ago. I come to this park to listen to bird songs. Rachel said, I'm afraid of birds. I can't even come close to them. And Peter said, I was just passing by. Can you tell me where the restroom is? Who is lying? It's Jack. If he's really blind, why did he bring this camera? Molly walked around the park. She had to find all the parrots before her boss arrived. How many parrots can you see in this picture? I see five. What about this image? Can you see any parrots among other birds? Here they are! After rescuing all the birds, Molly finally sat down to get some rest. But suddenly, she received a strange message full of complaints. Something really weird was going on with animals in the park. Molly rushed outside to check on the situation. Can you help her figure out what's so weird here?
this monkey has a goat leg. What about this image? This fish is definitely from another planet. What about these tigers? What's wrong with them? They have five legs instead of four. Molly went to the warehouse to get some food for fish. When she tried to open the door, she realized that her boss, Alina, had changed the code. Can you help Molly figure out the new password? Look at this note. It says tiger, cat, leopard, wolf, lynx. That's a little hint, since one word is different from the others. The correct password is wolf. This is the only animal that doesn't belong to the cat family. The lights inside the warehouse suddenly went out. Molly got lost. After wandering around the building for a while, she found three doors. But behind each of them, there was a trap. Hungry lions hid behind the first door. Instead of the floor, there was a pool swarming with fish behind the second door. And venomous snakes were waiting for Molly behind the third door. Which way should she choose? The second door is the safest option. Molly can use the diving suit that lies in the corner of the room. Also, Molly can feed the fish along the way. Molly and her colleague Mike were going home after work late at night. Suddenly, they saw their boss, Alina, talking to bats. They snuck in closer and hid behind a bush. Alina looked like a vampire and laughed like a freak. Next morning, Molly and Mike decided to check whether Alina was a human or a monster. It was her birthday, so they brought her two bouquets of flowers. But Alina accepted only one of them. This was when the guys learned for sure that Alina was a real vampire. How did they know? They hid garlic in the second bouquet. Alina invited all her colleagues to her birthday party. Molly didn't want to come alone, so she uploaded a dating app, hoping to meet someone special. Oh, no. Here are several pictures of nice guys, but one of them lives with his girlfriend. Can you tell who? It's this one. There's a pair of high heels and a dress in his closet. Alina asked Molly to arrive earlier to help her prepare for the party. Molly was cooking snacks in the kitchen when she heard a scream. She ran into Alina's room and saw her crying on the bed. Someone ruined her party dress while she was taking a shower. Molly interrogated three suspects. Kim, the cleaning lady, said, It's not my job to take care of Alina's clothes. I was cleaning the house all day. Sam the gardener said, I've been hanging string lights and decorating the garden for the party. I haven't even entered the house yet. And Alina's sister, Lily, said, I didn't touch it. But anyways, this dress didn't suit Alina at all. Purple is my color. Everyone in this family knows that. So who ruined the dress? Sam. Look, the string lights are still in the box. At the party, Uh Molly saw Mike with a mysterious lady. The lady was wearing a hoodie and standing with her back turned to Molly. So Molly couldn't see her face. Mike and the lady hid from everyone in Alina's library. Later that night, Molly entered the library too, but it was empty. After checking the room, Molly knew for sure which of these three ladies was Mike's secret girlfriend. How did she know? The second lady is wearing only one earring. She lost the second one in Alina's library, and Molly found it on the carpet. Alina called the police early in the morning. 
Officers arrived at her place and questioned her. She said, My husband and I had a romantic dinner last night, but at some point we had an argument. Then he felt sick. At least he said so, but I didn't believe him. He always tends to exaggerate things. So I slammed the door shut and left. I came back home in the morning and saw him unconscious on the floor. I don't know what happened to him. The officers immediately arrested Alina. Why? If the candles had been burning all night long, they would have burned out by now. Molly had a school friend. Her name was Sarah. One day, they went on a picnic with their families. Sarah's mother was very eccentric. She had pink hair and always wore glitter. And she took her pet iguana, Tom, everywhere she went. She also has three daughters. The oldest daughter's name was Monday, and her middle daughter was called Tuesday. Can you guess her youngest daughter's name? This is Sarah's mom, so it's pretty obvious that her youngest daughter's name is Sarah, right? Rick had a job interview at the hospital. He had been dreaming of becoming a vet all his life. Molly liked his resume, so she decided to test his logical thinking with one final riddle. She gave him this list of months and asked just one question. Which month comes next? Can you help Rick out? It's September. The months on this list go from those with the least number of letters to those with the most. It's time to groom the animals. Molly hired a group of talented groomers. Two groomers can groom two animals in two hours. In this case, how many animals would four people groom in four hours? Your first instinct was probably to say four animals. But in fact, the correct answer is eight. And it makes sense, because four groomers would groom four animals in two hours. And in four hours, this number will double. I'm something people love or hate. I change people's appearances and thoughts. If a person takes care of themselves, I will go up even higher. I can fool some people. To others, I'm a mystery. Some people might want to try and hide me, but I will still show. No matter how hard people try, I will never go down. What am I? Have you guessed? The correct answer is age. One of these three people is left-handed. Can you guess who? It's the waiter. It's easier for lefties to hold a tray in their right hand and serve dishes and drinks with their left hand. Suddenly, somebody pushed Stacy into the water. Down in the Sea Kingdom, Stacy met Neptune. He was sitting on his throne, surrounded by three mermaids. Neptune asked Stacy to return the pearl necklace to his wife. He had recently lost it, and Luke found the necklace on the shore. Can you guess which mermaid is Neptune's wife? The third one. She's the only one who's wearing an engagement ring. Another working day at the chocolate factory. Jason decided to prank Freddy and covered a raw chicken egg with a layer of chocolate. Then he wrapped it and put it among real chocolate eggs on a tray. When Jason brought the chocolate eggs, Freddy spotted the fake one immediately. Can you figure out how? The real chocolate eggs are hollow inside, so they were rolling all over the tray when Jason was walking. But the raw egg is heavier, and it didn't move much. Mm. What about the dressing room? Any odd details?
these hairy clawed paws can't belong to a human. Next, Bella decided to visit a hairdresser. The manager asked her to wait for 20 minutes. Bella took a seat in the lobby and accidentally fell asleep. When she woke up, she saw that someone had cut her long, beautiful hair. She got furious and questioned three suspects. Maya said that she had been busy with another customer. She didn't see what was going on in the lobby. Rick said that he had been eating his lunch outdoors. And Sally said, Who do you think I am? I don't steal hair. That's ridiculous. Who is lying? Both Maya and Sally had some cut hair on their clothes, but that doesn't prove their guilt. But Rick's lunchbox is full of food, which means he was busy with something else during his lunch break. Very suspicious. Hmm. Bella's evening dress was too long and classy. She couldn't go to the concert hall by subway. So the hostel manager, Fred, offered Bella to give her a ride if she cracked his tricky riddle. I have a neck and no head. Two arms, but no hands. I'm with you at school. I'm with you at work. What am I? The correct answer is a shirt. During a break, Bella went outside to get some fresh air. She enjoyed the evening along with the other guests. Suddenly, a street dealer offered Bella a diamond necklace for $20. What? She agreed right away and put the necklace on. Okay. Soon, three guests came over to Bella to claim the necklace. Pam said, How dare you! This necklace has been in my family for ages. I lost it in the ladies' room. Diana said, This piece looks very similar to my necklace. Someone stole it as I was moving through the crowd today. In any case, my jewelry collection is insured. And Sheila said, I noticed that the necklace was gone after visiting the buffet on the sixth floor. Can you help Bella return the necklace to its real owner? The necklace belongs to Diana. The concert hall doesn't have six floors. Pam and the street dealer have similar tattoos on their arms, so they must be scammers working together. After the performance, Letitia invited Bella to the after party, where Bella met Tyler. He claimed he was a famous violinist and showed Bella some pictures proving his luxurious lifestyle. But Bella realized that he was just a wannabe very soon. How did she understand it? Take a look at the trees in this picture. It's obvious that the wind is blowing to the right. Meanwhile, Tyler's hair seems to be swept to the left. The picture has been photoshopped. The next morning, Bella went to buy some groceries. She didn't have much cash, so she bought only two items, cheese and bread, and paid $1.10 in total. The cheese cost $1 more than the bread. How much did the bread cost? The most obvious answer would be that the bread cost 10 cents. But if the bread cost 10 cents and the price of the cheese was $1 higher than that of the bread, the cheese would cost $1.10. And the total, in this case, would be $1.20. The correct answer is that the bread costs 5 cents and the cheese costs $1.05. This indeed makes a total of $1.10. Does that make sense? I mean, sense? Freddy decided to pay Jason back. He dressed up as a ghost to scare him. But suddenly, several real ghosts appeared in the room. Can you figure out which of these ghosts is Freddy? This guy over there. He's the only ghost who is not transparent at all. One evening, the factory was celebrating its anniversary. The management organized a party. All employees participated in a karaoke competition. Most of them all sang incredibly well and received gifts and flowers. But only two of the best singers, Nancy and Betsy, made it to the final. They prepared to face each other in one more round. But suddenly, Betsy fell to the floor, unconscious. Doctors claimed that she had been poisoned. But all the participants of the competition had eaten exactly the same food. 
Besides, the police checked the dishes, and they were okay. Can you guess what happened? Someone poisoned Betsy's flowers. Next day, Freddy came to work as usual. He looked around and exclaimed, Wait a minute! Who's brought a cat to the chocolate factory? No pets are allowed here. Can you see any animals? Here it is! The cat got scared and ran away to another room. Freddy followed it. Can you spot the cat now? It's hiding over there. And again, Freddy failed to catch the cat. It ran out of the building and hid in the garden. Can you help the guy find the cat? The poor animal is over there. Freddy caught the cat and found a small note attached to its collar. It had contact information. Freddy called the cat owner, but no one answered the phone. So, after work, Freddy took the cat and went to the address mentioned in the note. It was a creepy castle. The door was locked and required a password. Can you help Freddy crack the code using this hint? The password is rainbow. A gloomy old man greeted Freddy inside the castle. Freddy expected that he would thank him for bringing the cat back. But the old man began to laugh evilly and locked all the ways out. Then he said, If you manage to complete three tasks I give you, you will get one million dollars. But if you fail, you'll stay in my castle forever. Here's the first task. Help me find my glasses among all these vegetables. Can you help Freddy? Here they are. The next task from the old man was to cook a potion and do it in the correct order. He gave Freddy this recipe. Can you help the guy? First of all, you gotta put curry. Then go for blueberries to make the potion look greenish. And finally, add tomatoes to make the potion look brown. As for these vegetables, Freddy doesn't need them. And the third task is to find a book in this messy room. Can you see it? It's half hidden inside the sofa. Sam was walking in the mountains. He met a beautiful girl and spent the whole day with her. In the evening, he realized he didn't even know her name. He asked if he could take her out the next day. The girl agreed, but only if he guessed her name. Sam was upset. But luckily, the girl liked him too. She wrote something on a piece of paper. It was a hint. Can you figure out her name? Ignore the numbers and look at the letters. Together, they make up the name Regina. Sam rented a cabin on a beautiful deserted beach. He called Regina and invited her over. But she complained that she'd broken her leg. Sam offered his help and invited Regina to stay in his house until she recovered. He brought her to the cabin in his arms like a real gentleman. Regina was hungry and asked Sam to go buy some food. When Sam returned, he saw that someone had robbed his house. (gasps) Regina said she had been sleeping and hadn't seen the robbers. Sam called the police and said... I guess my new girlfriend is a thief. Why did he think so? Take a look at the cast. At first, it was on the right leg, but now it's on the left one. The police arrested Regina. They also detained three suspicious men. Jake said that he had been walking with his dog nearby. Bill said that he had been taking pictures for his blog. And Fred said he always surfed on that beach. Can you guess which of them is Regina's accomplice in the robbery? (laughs) 
It's Bill. Take a look at his arm. He has a tattoo with Regina's name. 